Doc is very proud of being Great Western. He talks endlessly about it. But he works hard too and makes everything go like clockwork. You know just where to stop, Duck, laughed his driver. You could almost manage it without me. Doc had become conceited. He didn't realize his driver was joking. Later, he boasted to the others. Driver says I don't need him now. Don't be so daft, snorted Donald. I'd never go without my driver, said Douglas earnestly. I'd be frightened. Huh, boasted Doc. I'm not scared. You'd never dare. I would then. You'll see. The next morning, the firelighter came. Doc drowsed comfortably as the warm spread through his boiler. Donald and Douglas were still asleep. Doc suddenly remembered. Silly stick in the mud, he chuckled. I'll show them. Driver said I could manage without him. I'll just go out. Then I'll stop and weesh. That'll make them jump. Duck thought he was being clever. Really, he was only moving because a careless cleaner had meddled with his control. He soon found it in stage. He tried to wee, but he couldn't. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors! cried Duck and shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tinkled. Plaster was everywhere. Duck collected a bush on his travel. He peered into the room through its leaves. He couldn't speak. The station master was furious. His wife picked up her plate. You miserable engine, she scolded. Just look what you've done to our breakfast. Now I shall have to cook some more. She banged the door. More faster fell. This time, it fell on Duck. Duck felt depressed. Workmen propped up the house with strong poles and laid rails through the garden. Meanwhile, Donald and Douglas arrived. Bash yourself, Duck. We'll soon have you back on the rails, they laughed. Donald and Douglas, puffing hard, managed to haul Duck back to safety. Bits of fencing, the bush, and the broken window frame festooned his front which was badly twisted. The twins laughed and left him. Duck was in disgrace. There was worse to come. You are a very naughty engine. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Duck's voice was muffled behind his bush. You must go to the works and have your front mended. It will be a long job. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, a diesel rail car will do your work. A d d diesel, sir? Duck fluttered. Yes, Duck. Diesels always stay in their sheds till they are wanted. Diesels never gallivant off to breakfast in station masters' houses.